It's one of the requirements that is, I think is absolutely out of this world crazy is you have to lock down your supply chain for the life of the grant up front. Yeah. Well, AT&T can do that. They already have those arrangements in place. No, no little company is going to get a con contractor to say, yeah, I'll guarantee you I will build for you three years from now. On top of that, that contractor has to guarantee that he's going to have a, 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 a system to train new employees during the price of that. There, he has to guarantee three or four things. He, and he's just going to go, I don't want to work on these grants. I'll go elsewhere. I don't think the little guys are going to find contractors. So this grant actually passes from the ISPs and puts requirements on contractors too. And they're going to go, I don't want this crap. They're going to walk away from little companies. They'll go, I'll build an, I'll build an ARPA grant for you, but I'm not building those damn B grants for you. Mm -hmm. You know, contractors, they don't do nonsense. Mm -hmm. <laughs>